It's a pretty gloomy day today, but I'm gonna go out and get some coffee. I just paid $10 for a big coffee and a little breakfast sandwich. I mean, I gotta start a coffee shop. I've been having a ton of problems out of my drone recently. I have no idea why. I'll just be flying along and it'll lose signal for no reason, just constantly. And then when I was doing that little Thanksgiving thing the other day, like my remote kept losing signal and the drone was like not even a hundred feet away from me. So it was kind of frustrating. I've done like a firmware update. I've updated the app. I've done a few other things and I'm just gonna do a little test flight. It's also freaking cold. So I'm really glad the sun just came out. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. The drone is right there. See it? According to this, it's only 126 feet in the air. I should not be losing signal like that. So, I don't know what the deal is. Okay, now it says 54% battery, critically low voltage, and it's just landing. Why? Why, 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 why? And it won't let me stop it either. I'd love to get that shot right there, the sun peeking through. Does it turn itself off or what? Okay, it turned itself off. Okay, at almost half the battery life left, it says battery voltage critically low. Luckily, I have another battery. Okay, I've put a new battery in, done all the stuff, literally having the same problems as before. Camera is not working. Uh, I think I'm gonna title this video, Drone Failure. Also, does anyone know why the camera gimbal won't like automatically stabilize itself and straighten and everything and I have to manually do it every time? All right, it seems to be working fine this time. I'm gonna fly around. Okay, remember how I said it was working fine before? Now at 347 feet in the air, right above me, it's lost signal and it's trying to land itself. All right, I guess that was not like a total failure because I managed to snap off a few pictures before this thing just started going haywire. Um, I'm gonna pack it up, go home, email DJI. Ugh. Well, that sucked. There really isn't much to complain about because I mean, I have a drone. Some people don't have a drone. Some people want a drone, but they can't have one. I have one. That's great, but I want the freaking thing to work, man. This isn't a huge deal. It's not because I'm not like a professional photographer aerial photographer or anything like that. I don't make a living with this stuff, but as a hobbyist, I feel like you buy a product, it should work. I don't know. I mean, look, look around me. There's nothing. There's nothing to interfere with my signal. Nothing. I don't see anything. But before I get all bent out of shape like I always do, I'm gonna go home, email DJI, charge up these batteries, maybe try again later. All right, switching gears now. I saw an Adorama YouTube video last night about uh, shooting at blue hour. Now you've heard of golden hour, like the time around sunrise and sunset, but blue hour is apparently when the sun goes down and the sky is like that dusky blue color. Apparently that's like a good time to do like night photography, like long exposures and stuff. So I think I'm gonna try that later. Also a friend of mine that works at a movie theater gave me this huge Doctor Strange poster and he also gave me this Sully poster. I wanna try to hang this thing up real quick. I'm thinking like over here on this wall. Look how massive this thing is. How's this look? That's kind of in the center, right? Maybe? I'm hanging it. I'm eyeballing it. Okay, so it's not perfectly centered. I got that little, the fire alarm, whatever that thing is right there. I can't cover that up, but uh, there it is. Adds a little bit to the room. Just in case you were wondering, it is still freezing out here. Uh, I'm going up here though to just see if I can take a few pictures. I'm getting out of the apartment for a second. Okay, that's my apartment complex right here. And right in back of it is this massive, massive hill got a lot of trees that are like changing colors with fall and all that stuff. I hiked up on this hill one time. It was pretty treacherous. I think I'm gonna one day make a video about that. Plus coming up here is just kind of an excuse to ride that thing. So I've been like pretty unmotivated 
lately. Just like I haven't been taking photos, I haven't been like shooting videos or YouTube videos or anything. You know, it's pretty amazing. I was in New York City for two days and I was more inspired than I've ever been in those two days. New York City is truly the place to hustle. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I sometimes wish I had gone there instead of Los Angeles a few years ago. That being said, I'm very happy I went to Los Angeles. I had the time of my life out there. It's hard, it's hard coming back here and just like getting back in your groove and finding your inspiration again, but I'm very slowly doing that. I took one of the best images I've ever taken in my life last night. It's this one. I don't know, I just thought it came out really good. That whole blue hour thing I was talking about earlier, I still plan on doing that. Uh, I'm gonna go downtown around sunset time so I could get a sunset picture and go for that blue hour stuff. Okay, it's about 3.30 now. Um, it gets darker earlier this time of year, so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna head downtown now, but first I'm gonna stop and get some food at Whole Foods. Okay, made it downtown. There's the shot I'm going for at Blue Hour, the Sun Sphere. The Sun Sphere is like the premier Knoxville landmark. Check that out. That looks pretty cool, right? I actually ended up getting some really good shots with my G7X here, but uh, the lighting right now is great. I'm gonna roll with it. Look at that. That's looking good so far. By the way, I'm using a Canon 10 to 18 and just a 18 to 55 kit lens. T6i, nothing special. I'm getting some great shots of the sun sphere here. Um, the sun should go down here in a little bit and I'll do that blue hour thing where the sky turns dusky blue and I guess I'll try like a long exposure. I hope some of these buildings light up for that. We'll see. Okay, the sun has gone down a pretty good bit. So it's officially freezing now. I'm all set up, ready to go. I'm just kind of waiting on the sky. <laughs> I've kind of just been sitting here, freezing my ass off, waiting. Um, I'm getting some killer shots though, dude. <laughs> Okay, close enough. Look at the sky. This is blue hour time. I still got tons of orange though, which I think will look good. I'm set up over here. Uh, if you care about camera settings, I am at ISO 100 F22. Uh, I'm gonna start with about eight seconds and I only have four shots left on my memory card. So I'm gonna make them count. If there was ever any question at what an amateur photographer I am, my vlogging camera battery is about to die. As well as, my big camera battery. I got this shot, which is pretty good. All right, this battery's blinking, so you may or may not get this, but even though I really didn't get the shot that I really wanted tonight, I mean, coming up here and seeing that was just worth it. I'm gonna end it here because my battery's about to die. So is that one, by the way, amateur. Today was like practice. I'm getting back into the YouTube game slowly, slowly, very slowly, but uh, I'm gonna do it because I really enjoy it, and thank you to everyone that watches them. Thank you to everyone that shares them. Thank you to everyone that leaves a thumbs up at the bottom. That means a lot to me. But uh, camera's about to die. I'm gonna go home, freezing, bye.